What's up YouTube? Welcome to Jam's Oriental Food Workshop. Nearly couldn't say our own title. I'm Chin, this is my mum Chu. Hello. We do takeaway food. We used to do this for a living. We do street food now. We sometimes do food like this in our shop just, you know, because it's a bit of fun and it's nice to cook. Some people like to eat it, so we sometimes do it. Not often, sometimes. We more focus on um, high-end street food. But today, we are doing egg foo young. I couldn't think of a good segue, so I just shouted what we were doing. Um, which is basically, what is it, Mum? You, you go on, you tell them. Uh, egg foo young is. It's what? Egg foo young is just the egg um, like Chinese omelette, I think. It's basically an omelette yeah. with some vegetables. It's, it's... Yeah, basically, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, and when I say some vegetables, yeah. two. <laughs> I don't know how other places do it, other places might do it. Differently, we might, actually should we do remember the thing that Tai used to do, make with pork? Real foo ya is kind of it's made with pork mince. Oh, it's called nyok biang. Nyok biang. My dialect is called nyok biang hakka. What's it meant? Um, lobing. Uh, lobing. Yeah. So we'll show you how to do that as well. Maybe not right now because we don't have the ingredients for it, but. I think it'd be nice for you guys to see what well, it should be like actually. But anyway, we'll get on with this. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Oh, forgot to say we'll be doing crispy beef. How to do that, how to do the batter that there are two styles of batter. Yeah. Um, we'll be showing you how to do that. Yeah. Um, we'll be doing the how to do that, how to do the batter. There are two styles of batter and I'll be showing you both. But that's when we reach over a thousand subscribers. Um, just to celebrate the fact that we've reached over a thousand subscribers, yeah? Yeah. Do you know what subscriber is yet, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll get on with the food yard. So here are your basic ingredients for a chicken foo young. Um, this is how we know how to do it. I've only ever worked in a couple of places where it differs, but it doesn't differ by much. If your place differs by loads, Rattatan Giles, I know you probably do it very differently. Let me know. Um, it's nice to hear everyone else's. And I'd, I'd like to try out actually some of your recipes on the channel if that's okay. But um, anyway, you need four eggs because this is an egg hungry dish and I'll show you how to prep those in a second. Frozen peas, sliced white onions, shredded boiled chicken. I'm gonna do a video on how to prep the boiled chicken. It's really, you really need a lot of salt. There's at least just over, just under half a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of a sauce. <laughs> um, and half a teaspoon of MSG. Another thing to note as well is you need a lot of oil. This will stop it from catching. It's not, you need a lot of that. <clears throat> so on to the egg prep. Okay, so you take your four eggs out of the bowl and you crack them back into the bowl. Now if you've ever worked in a takeaway, doing this is one of the main things you'll do all day long. You try to get every single bit of that egg out. But we won't bother to do. Isn't that right? Yeah. You spent hours just grabbing the, the yolk, not the yolk, making sure every little bit goes out. It's all about profit then, today. Thank you, Mum. Okay, and then here, you want to put, sorry, just washing my hands, you want to put a pinch of salt. Remember, season every single step if you can, and a pinch of MSG, not too much. And then you whisk this bad boy. Oh, beating eggs is another thing because you fill up a massive bucket of eggs and then you'll just get this really thick whisk and you just bam, bam. Oh, it takes forever. It, oh, it's the worst. I don't know, cutting onions is the worst. I'll tell that back. This needs to be beaten really, really well. You can hear mum eating in the background. <laughs> that was from the dish we had earlier. That was the um, citron mum's chowing down on. Anyway, back to this. That's all the prep you need, so next on to the frying. As always, pan goes on, oil goes in. Mum? Yeah? I just had a thought. Have you ever done a foo young at home before? Uh, 
That's a no. I've never done one on a small watt. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah. It's always been on like a 13, 14 kilowatt fryer. Yeah. Like watt burner. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a go. Yeah, we'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You'll get to see a video of it not working. <laughs> Pan is hot when there's smoke coming off the top. Ah! Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Anyway, in go the onions. We need quite a few. Just the smell of cooking onions is fantastic. Next goes in your chicken. Ah, get it all in there. Let it cook itself. It's not hurry. Yeah, this is a, you have to be quite patient even when using a wok with this. Um, when it gets to temperature, you have to turn it down. Sorry, when the eggs are in, you have to turn it down, otherwise it'll burn. Well, that's in a wok, we're not sure about this. Oh, we're just winging it in, a, in this. We've got loads planned, by the way. Tassel, sorry, Chinese roast pork, ribs, barbecue sauce, lemon chicken, duck dishes. We're not sure if we can teach you how to roast duck because you need a special hot oven. If you like barbecue ribs off the bell, you're going to love our barbecue ribs. But yeah, ours are exceptionally good. Yeah. But that's just because we really cook them so they're tender. In goes some peas. Go, 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 go. And there's enough in Chinese. Um, in goes the MSG. Salt. Now for the eggs. This is important, this bit. You still need a high here. Still high right now, yeah. yeah. Spread it around the centre. Get the egg caught. Johnny like it. That's it. Yeah, that's what I said, Johnny. Yeah. Johnny, you like Fuyong, chicken Fuyong. Are you watching? Philip is also a foo young. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Because he's a. Um, so these are family friends. <laughs> domestic domestic um, fire, we might we don't need to turn it off. Don't need to turn it down. Yeah. yeah. It's not hot enough to catch, is it? No. Yeah. But just keep an eye on it. Yeah, you just break it all up. Because if you don't break it up, it's just an omelette. <laughs> yeah. That's the difference, isn't it, Mum? Yes. Cool, you want to leave quite, uh, some big chunks there. Yeah. Yep. That's done. That's Easy. your chicken bouillon. Most people just have it by itself, or with chips. Oh, it looks yummy. Just I'm looking it. forward to it now, especially that chunky egg. Oh, get that. Right, so here is the finished bouillon. Bouillon. <laughs> what are you doing? Anyway, um, here we go. Yeah. Bouillon's always really salty. You don't put... Yeah. If you don't, <laughs> oh, you don't want to add any soy sauce to this or anything. Um, if I, it's it's like MSG and stuff that really. If you're watching your sodium levels, use less salt. It's, it'll be just as nice to be honest. Anyway. Thanks for watching guys, remember like, comment and subscribe, we'll be doing um, a thousand, if you're watching your sodium levels, use less salt.
It's, it'll be just as nice to be honest. Anyway, come on, finish that. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be doing um, a thousand subscriber special, which will be the crispy beef that everyone has been asking for. Just to say thank you for tuning in. Um, as always, happy cooking um, and thank you again. Happy eating. And happy eating. If you've ever got any photos of anything you've cooked of ours, take photos of them, email us at um, jangstakeaway at gmail.com and we'll put them up at the end of our videos. So, now are some dishes from people that have made them before. Yeah. From us. Well, from, the, you, you know what I mean. Anyway. From watching us. Yeah. Take care.